Once you have exported your data, you may have to edit it. The best way to do this is in a spreadsheet. In this video, I'm using LibreOffice, but the same techniques apply for Microsoft Excel. First, open the comma-separated value file that you exported from the survey software. When you open it, you will see a preview of the data, as best as the spreadsheet can figure it out. Make sure that only comma is selected as a separator, and then click OK. The first five columns are internal information from Lime Survey. To get rid of them, put your mouse in the column header, labeled A, and then drag across to like column E. With the mouse still in the column header letters, right click and select Delete Columns. The next task is to combine feet and inches into total height. Move your mouse to column header letter C, then right click and insert columns. In cell C1, type the new header for this column, which is height. And as long as you're in the neighborhood, change cells D1 and E1 to feet and inches. Now calculate the first height by clicking in cell C2 and entering this formula equals 12 times D2 plus E2. Press enter and it calculates it. You don't want to have to type that formula over and over again for the remaining rows. Click in cell C2 again. Put the cursor in the little square at the lower right hand corner of the cell. The cursor will turn into a thin plus sign when you're in the right place. Now drag down the column and release the mouse and presto, everything is calculated for you. It's always a good idea to double check your data. Look at row 55. This guy is 6 foot 72 inches tall. Since we can't tell what he really meant, the best choice is to delete that row. Select the row by clicking its row number then right click and delete rows. Now you can save the file. I strongly suggest that you use Save As from the file menu. This lets me in the file when you save it so that you don't lose your original data. Rename the file as results.csv and notice that LibreOffice has changed the file type for you. Microsoft Excel might not do that automatically so make sure that it reads CSV or it won't be saved in the proper format. When you click Save, LibreOffice will ask you if you want to save in the current format, CSV, or not. Keep the current format. Now you have a CSV file that you can import into SOFA.